Welcome back to another episode of the Midweek Movie Review with the Groom. I'm Rayanne, and this is the Groom. And what movie did we watch? We watched Sleepaway Camp 2, Unhappy Campers, because Chase wouldn't leave me alone until I actually watched this movie. <sighs> Thank you, Chase. This movie was awesome. So this is written, I'm sorry, this is directed by Michael Simpson, no relation to Homer, Marge, or any of the other ones. Um, it also stars, which I didn't know until I looked it up, Emilio Estevez and Charlie Sheen's sister, daughter of, Mar Mar of Martin Sheen, as the one of the main characters, Molly. Tell us about the movie. When was it released? Oh, this was released in 1988, which makes it a wonderful traditional 80s slasher yep. that I love so much. So, the movie opens with a bunch of campers sitting around a fire telling urban legends, one of which involves a camp that was about 50 miles away from where they presently are, involving a camper who ended up slaughtering the entire camp pretty much, and then, surprise everyone, has a wiener. And this is a few years after the one kid sitting around the campfire kind of backs up the story saying his dad was a cop, he was there, this totally happened. Everything gets broken up and a female counselor comes out to walk the girl counsel a girl camper that's not supposed to be there, obviously, because it's a bunch of dudes and y hormones. You just, you can't mix them. Teenagers. As she's walking, um, we hear her call the counselor Angela, which then if you've seen the first movie, kind of put two and two together. That's not really a spoiler. She's the killer, guys. Surprise. She is missing a vital part of herself because she had a surgery, but that's fine. So we follow Angela as she kind of picks and chooses which campers are good, which campers are bad, and dispatches the baddies by sending them home. She's such a moral compass. Oh, she's, she's a complete moral compass. So we'll leave it there as to avoid any... I guess there's really... Like, if you've seen the first one, like, what's really going to get spoiled for you? There's a bunch of unhappy campers. <laughs> say that. It's funny, use the title of the movie. And... I use the title of the movie. So, um, first thing we're going to go into is, what did you like about the movie? What did I like? I liked um, the methods of dispatch. Because they were, like, anywhere from kind of like ho-hum to, like, fucking disgusting. There were a few that were just repulsive. Particularly one with a latrine. And if you've ever been camping and or had to use a porter potty... And you've ever looked into that, which is like looking into the actual bowels of hell? Ugh. It's just repulsive and horrible and things of nightmares. I didn't do as nice that they really didn't use the same kill twice. Well, no, you can't that use was, the same that kill was, Well, no, some movies just do the same shit over and over again. Well, that's boring. Um, I, oh man, I can tell you I thoroughly enjoyed all the cheesy one-liners before, during, and after the kills. They were awesome. I laughed during this movie so much. Probably more than I should have. So incredibly inappropriately laughed at this entire movie. Loudly. It was so good. I oh, I really had a good... I had a great time. Oh, I have a bonus. Like I enjoyed the nod to uh, Jason from Friday the 13th and Freddy Krueger from A Nightmare on Elm Street. Mm -hmm. that, oh, that was nice. Oh, my, bo my, my bonus is... It was wonderfully scored with glorious 80s rock yes. hair, hair band metal. We had uh, the subtitles up for some reason on the TV. So yeah. as the credits were rolling, just kind of like singing along to it. <laughs> yes, I was. <laughs> and at the end of the credits, it's like, thanks for staying and watching the credits. Which I thought was actually really cool. Yeah, that was nice. I, I like uh, to be thanked. You know, it, it seemed like a just cheesy 80s rock hair metal band that made a song for this movie. Yeah. <laughs> Just so absolutely delightful. Oh, totally. Um, what did you not like about the movie? I didn't like the acting so much on a lot of people. It's my turn to pick it was cat. just horrible. And like there was a real weird scene in the bathroom when there's like two of the campers are trying to get it on, but it is like the most violent, uncoordinated getting it on I've ever seen and it made me feel uncomfortable. Just that like, what is so he doing? Weird. Why is he doing that? Like, and then they knock the comet over. What are you they doing? knock the comet over. How are you gonna clean that place later? Ya nasty. What did you dislike? Um. Hmm. You kind of stole my thunder with that. I. I it's, 
I thought the act like mine kind of goes with the a- acting, but also like you can tell that the stunting wasn't done very well. You like we saw like the one part where she falls, and it is the worst fall it's ever. It's so weird. It's so, it's so slow. You can tell. Like... You can tell it was an actress trying not to hurt herself as she fell to the ground, and I think you saw that with a lot with a lot of that movie was. There weren't, like, stunt people there. There weren't, like, you know... And sometimes you can appreciate the fact that actors or actresses do their own stunts. And there goes a cat. But it's kind of like... I feel like it would have been... Like, there's a scene with some, where, some, where somebody falls. But it's a, it's a complete cutaway. You don't actually see them go back. And it's kind of like one of those things. Like, a little bit of, like, stunt work would have, like, put the movie over the top for me. Or better camera angles, perhaps. I mean, not not even that. Like you can tell, like or yeah, or something that gives the illusion of that the person actually fell down, you know, the the mountain. But just the way they fell was unnatural. The that's the and that's like 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 the only thing I really saw bad with this uh, with this movie. So maybe they were like, if I'm gonna break my nose, it's not gonna be on the set of Sleepaway Camp (laughs) Two. Fuck that. So how would you rank them? I'd give it maybe like a two out of five because I did enjoy watching it, but it's not something I always want to watch. I enjoyed it. Don't get me wrong, but it's not like on my top my ones or anything. Flare Don't flare your nostrils at me. Um, I I will give this a four out of five, and. Part of the reason why I wouldn't give it a, a five out of five is yeah, it was funny. The kills were br- were brutal. The acting was terrible, mm-hmm. but it's an eighty slasher, so acting is always ter- terrible in an eighty slasher. It was a quality slasher. It was an indie movie, so you kind of have it's a kind of a, they did they did a lot with a low budget, and but the stunt work and the acting kind of brought it down to a four for me. You know, this it was scored beautifully. Actually, I, I really think that the score was great, and the music selection was just on point. I actually googled something in the middle of the movie, which is funny because I saw them use a cordless drill, and I was like, "When was the cordless drill invented?" 1966. So I was like, "Okay, it's fine." Um, okay. But yeah, like everything was like time appropriate. That's where I was going with this. Oh. Everything was time appropriate. Which it was made in the late 80s, which it, it was made in the late 80s. It never says that definitively when it was set. You can tell by the hair. But you can tell. Well, no, I'm saying like you can tell. It was, yeah, you can totally tell. Oh, speaking of hair, bonus like dude has a sweet mullet in this. There's a few really. Oh my God. Really uh, extreme <laughs> mullets. And also, like, this, the first one was, was meant to be scary. This one's meant to be more like, cheeky. it's it's funny, it's mm-hmm. it's quirky, it's cheesy, it's mm-hmm. a B-movie. It's, it really embodies the B, what, what like, a B-movie is. It's gory, but it's funny. Mm-hmm. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. And some of it's cheap humor, cheap, stupid humor, but you know what? I'm cheap and stupid. <laughs> I love cheap and stupid, especially slasher. So, it's not, it's not the best slasher. In my opinion, but it's right up there with one of my favorite ones, like that and Cry Wolf. And that's high praise Cry from this guy. Wolf. Cry underscore Wolf is <coughs> one of my favorite movies. And this is really up there with it. So I'm, I'm actually very happy. Now I'm tempted to actually dive a little further into these because 3 is also on Prime. So, so we watched it on, speaking of where you can find it, we <laughs> watched it on Amazon Prime Video. We also ordered the physical DVD, and that didn't work out for some... Or, no, you bought the physical DVD yeah. somewhere, and some, something happened with Shout it. Shout out to Second and Charles. Yeah. I could tell us a bogus DVD. But, yeah, we couldn't play it in my Xbox on any of the computers. So we were like, what, whatever. It came out on Amazon Prime. Chase wouldn't leave me alone until I watched this movie, so... You're welcome. So, and yeah. Thank you. Available on streaming platforms as well as physical copy. Hashtag non spawns. Yeah. Wish you would. But yeah, so have you guys seen this movie? What did you think about this movie? Did you like this or the original better? Did you maybe like three better? Let us know. Um, should I watch three? Should we watch three? Because <laughs> we're probably going to watch three. 
Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Leave a like on the video if you did like it. Or you could like it even if you didn't like it. Please don't forget to hit the bell for all notifications of my further uploads and live streams. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and Instagram and Twitter at Reanimator. You can also find our reviews or my reviews in podcast form Ooh. via the Farsighted Network oh, we'll through iTunes. You can find me, wonderful cat face person. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Repeat Groom Ray. You can also follow me on Twitch. Me and my hilarious friends divulge into the world of gaming at Repeat Ray Animator. Um, follow me. I'd love to have you. We have lots of fun. And the cat just won't give up. If you'd like to see more cat pictures, also please like the video. If you if you follow her on Twitter, you will see cat pictures. Well, no, if you follow me on Instagram, that's like my entire Instagram. So, all right. Um, what did she say at the end? Was it good night? <laughs> Sleep tight, campers.